Oh yes! This is the one kind of I've been waiting for because uh, Michael McPartland has come down from Middlesbrough <laughs> and uh, he has chosen uh, for his specialist subject today WrestleMania, uh, WrestleMania's 1 to 10, which would be all very well if it wasn't for the fact that uh, Mark Laycock's a huge fan as well, so there's a kind of personal duel on here. We're going to crack on with it. Hopefully we're ready to go. <laughs> Does everything look all right to you guys? Yep. Quick drink. Screen recording. We'll dig to these questions. Yeah, it's computer recording. Start it is. Screen yeah. recording. You can see this kind of uh, this yellow line. Yeah. Means it's recorded. Good. All good. Good luck, everybody. Not to be confused with the World Wildlife Fund. <laughs> it's Christmas. Chris. World Wrestling Federation. Yes. Or WWF. I wouldn't have allowed. Uh, Lee's was in before. In, yeah, Laycock. They, well, yeah, they organised it, didn't they? Uh, is there something wrong with that question? Yeah, I didn't get it right. <laughs> I still owe you payback for Australia and the Andrew, Billabong. Well below me as well, there, mate. Uh, is that a share of things to come? Who got it, Chris? Hey, I got it. Yeah, I didn't know the answer. So. No, I got it. Never rains it pours, eh, Chris? In which, Good in which decade was the first <laughs> McFarlane? Mm -hmm. The Good first decade. WrestleMania yeah. to feature <laughs> <laughs> 1980s. <laughs> I will get you a day, my sweetie, and your little What's dog too. Hey. Oh, just... <laughs> WrestleMania's 1 and 10. The night before Christmas. It's a draw! Oh yes! Please! Madison Square Garden. Oh, I've got it wrong. Sorry, I said Toronto. MSG. Madison Square Garden. Minus one, yeah, you're, you're, you're in the frame there. So, uh, uh, McPartland for... Hey, that's a bonus two points, isn't it, as well? Bonus, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> if I say awesome again, I will buy Vince a drink. <laughs> you know today. I'd squash. Today. Today. <laughs> oh, please. You thought you <laughs> I'm looking for like, If it's written down in any of the questions. How is Terry G. Nice before Chris. Lee. Yes. Oh, Gogan. Balea. Terry Balea. Yeah, You've been presumptuous there, but you are not Harry and June. Uh, so, what's your girlfriend called, Mike, so we can talk to her? Um, uh, Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Gabrielle, we should, we should give you a shout out here. Uh, Mike says he's going to take you to <laughs> Bruges at the end of February it's for the Valentine's Day really. present. <laughs> just confirm but you've got to lend him the money. Just confirm which girl's name that was, also. Yeah. You better edit it that out as well, so... What? <sighs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay, only if you need editing out, okay. <laughs> <laughs> to within... 10%. What was the official record? 93,000. Yes, 93,173 was per the perfect How answer. How did you not get that spot on, Mike? So, uh, <laughs> on. said within 10%. Yeah, but I know. Can you tell them the rest of the question while I put the points on? Go on. Is WrestleMania 3 the highest indoor spot in attendance? Good so answer. So good yeah, that's the one I've got confused by. What was won by the announcers of WrestleMania? Night before Christmas. Togas. Finish the question for them, will you? I like doing this kind of quiz. I don't have to do much. It's fantastic. But it's not the other thing. It's not the A word. Oh, no. When? Ready, mate. When Hulk Hogan was suffering from a brutal two-on-one attack at the hands of Sid Justice. The Ultimate Warrior. Tell him the rest of the question, will you? He saved him when he was being attacked. Yeah, he just came oh, running oh. from out of nowhere! Oh, oh, yeah, it's, well, it's not real, real, is it? No, it's like Coronation Street, isn't it? It's, it's oh, real, yeah. Is it like Coronation Street, Martin? Well, it's not. It's not. 
<laughs> you know, twenty is quite good uh, uh, with four to go because three to go because you'd expect the last three to be also twenty. You are on at the moment for this particular round. Good, good, good run. What seven letter word has been added to the Oxford Dictionary where it is defined as in professional wrestling and now it's move one. Kfib. Tell them the rest of the question please. Kfib yeah, yeah. means I can't be once described, but it's uh Shall I tell you, true. the fact of convention of presenting no, stage performances is genuine or authentic. Seven letter word, not awesome, is it? Yeah, oh, could have been. Oh, look at this. Oh, Clive, I hope you're good on your uh, brush upon your Philip Larkin. He's not bad at it, I believe. Top it Good for you, this. In the final match of WrestleMania 3, who did Hulk Hogan? <laughs> Matt Partland. And River Giant. Scoot slam before hitting the ropes and executing the leg drop to retain the championship. Look at the smile on his little face. <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Have you noticed how he's like bouncing off the screen now? You're doing that well. See if we can get a bit more scale. There we go. Look at those points. Yeah, Last question. Fun. Although I'll have a drink. <laughs> Although <laughs> Bret Hart defeated Yokozuna to win the Hulk Hogan. Minus two. Oh, oh there's man. a swerve coming in here. There's no swerve coming in at all. Although anything with although and because in there generally is probably a swerve, so and let's pick you for those, and you're out of this particular general. Laycock. Laycock. He's buzzed in. Oh, go on, Laycock. Lex Luger. No, you're out of this as well. Is there any point finishing this question? Yes, yes. 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 carry on. Definitely. Uh, sorry. No, you, 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 yeah. yeah. Start again. Although Bret Hart defeated Yokozuna to win the WWF Championship in WrestleMania 10, who actually defeated him, Bret Hart, in the opening yeah, match of the pay per view? Fight. Sam Piper nice. Please Booker T Ashton Slaughter Rose Chris The Rock Martin Childs the All team. wrong Tell Big, them Big Danny Owen Hart's brother oh, beat him in the only match Daddy. of the pay per view it, Let's crack it's on Daddy. Big Daddy Shame you were so close. I didn't even get close to you then, Mike. Well done, Mike. Well done, Mike. That's now, see, nobody's actually got close to a clean sweep on these, so well done, people. What is the first name of this sequence? What's the first name of this sequence? I'm working backwards, I think. Might be forwards, whatever. What name comes at the end of this sequence? Maybe the first end, maybe the last. Who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> Sorry, Devs. Get on with it. Uh, Intrepid Antares, Falcon, Orion, and from December 1972, Challenger. Ashton. Granada. No, you finished Leicott. Atlantis. Uh, Lee. Columbia. Preston. I would say Columbia as well. The first is uh, McPartland. Uh, Eagle. Eagle. Eagle is correct. Oh, Youthful oh, two points. That gets you. The stuff yeah. back, which uh, what I'm going to do is I want to see what makes. You no, know, we've got that. That's done. Keep your eyes on your scars, please, Michael, because it's going to be close at the top now. The Camazine or Shamzin, a Simoon, and the Fremantle Doctor, <coughs> Clive nice. gets two points for wins. Cassius Chrome, Dead Metal, Lake Ops. You know you were right. The moment you pressed, you knew you were in there. Robot Wars. Robot Wars, yeah. You're welcome to kind of tell people what's going on with these because I don't finish the questions. We asked that for 10. Which former political party leader had a band called the Ravens? Tony Blair. Minus one. 
Leaves. Uh, screaming Lord Such. Correct. Well ugly rumours is Tony Blair. Yeah, it was ugly rumours. The Kalia, D A K A H L I A, Gabia, <laughs> Clive, Cyprus. No, minus one, it's not like, well, I'm going to stop remarking on it when it happens twice and get the day. Uh, and Helwan, a governate, and Takara is an ancient burial site in which country? <laughs> Rose. <laughs> it's Christmas. Wake up. Say Malta. McPartland. Greece. Chris. Lees. Bosnia. Ashton. Egypt. Pre oh. Yeah, you've done it again on Egypt. No. <laughs> oh no, so no you got the there. Egypt last no, time, yeah. So it's Egypt has cost me a lot of time today. Ashton, there you go. You're on the board for this game. How many gold medals did Spain win in the 1999 World Athletics Championships, how many gallons are there in one peck? And on a standard dartboard, which number lies between 15 and 17? Yes. McCarlan! Three. Preston? Uh, 19. Rhodes? Two. Two. Oh, well Ooh, it's all oh. tense. Steve, you're on the board as well for this round. In humans, the conditions. Ichthyosis and Eddie. Oh, what were you going to say? Skin. You get two points there, Deb. Shut up the rest of you. All right, <laughs> we're going to get that out of the way for this. I'm going to edit that so it looks like the scars came up. Who succeeded Robert Bridges and preceded Senator <laughs> Sam? John Mayfield is correct. Yeah. The nod from the man means you are right. And Sam, two points. Another name on the board, which has been previously dominated by Michael. In 1980, who became the first British solo female artist? Rhodes. Kate Bush, can you finish off the question for him, please? To, to have one. a UK number one single art to write her own with her own, one she'd written and recorded. Well, right. There's loads of stuff going in there, thank you very much. Uh, ten. What are... Warwick Davis, oh, Preston... I was a dwarf, but that's a bit cruel, isn't it? <laughs> well, do you want to do you want to say it? Yeah, might as well. Well, you You're might right. as well for two points. Uh, Peter Dinklage or Eddie Star, <laughs> Luminosity <laughs> Class Five. <laughs> bit bit on the PC question. Like that, that's but what, what do you want to say? Vertically challenged, or something? I don't think that's Little people. Little people. Yeah. A third of me. Preston at the bottom. That yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. to my leg. Well, if that was wrong, my next answer were Ewoks. Put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two points, please. I'll take it anyway. You've got See, it. Thanks. To see the lonely hills of gold. Right, dwarfs. Love them. <laughs> how many horses... How many horses were killed for the 2012 entry meeting? What is the Seaworth in Scrabble? <laughs> well, it's Christmas. He's correct. That's a... A good, a good year, this, uh, that one. It's normally it's got quite a few more, so... Come on. Uh, a name used as a term for cigarette papers. In 2009... It's Christmas! Rizla. Huh? Rizla. No, minus one, Chris. Ashton? Skins? Yeah. Nope. No. <laughs> A name used as a term for cigarette papers in 2009, which 92 year old became the oldest living adult? Please. Vera Lynn. Vera Lynn is correct. Oh, yes. uh, I don't even remember last month, but I went in on Vera Lynn's and Skins because I've just seen that question on the, uh, the, the shame and question. Ah, oh, there's a guy in the place got a bit of sweet face and he goes by the name of Ebenezer Good. Vera. Have we got any Veras? What comes next? Lovely! <laughs> Start. Which 1955 film selected by influential film magazine? Lee's? Got a gut shot, Marty. 
No, uh, oh, a good, good gut shot, but it's got it out of the way for everybody else because you were in there on your own clean. So, there you go. Uh, we're still going. Which 1955 film, not Marty. Off. <laughs> no, I think that one, I had to put that into the side. It wasn't written there. Uh, selected by influential film magazine Cashiers of Cinema as the second greatest of all time, does actor Robert Mitchum portray... <laughs> Whoa, Ashton! Night of the Hunter? Yeah, what? I've never seen it. Is it worth the watch? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. 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 Yeah. Right, Night of the Hunter. Can somebody Facebook me with the recommendation of that? Because I might turn on to it tonight and have a relax from this. We have got one, two questions left on this. What does the letter D stand for in the software acronym CAD or <laughs> CHILD? <laughs> Design. Yeah, I thought you were kind of in another place there. You looked to be, you know, Steve, if it was if it was anybody else, I wouldn't have let them have it, but you know I like you. Child. So. Yeah, I don't know his second name, where is it? Child. There. I'm surprised you didn't give him Clive. <laughs> Last question of this lot. Buried in a churchyard at Barnborough. Bamber, who in 1838 Ashton Grace Darling it is Grace Darling right let's uh, hopefully turn these off take a, a deep breath come back in five minutes and we'll play the last one <laughs>